with Hot Topics, Hot Tweets, and the Spiciest Memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Dwan. We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and most likely argue. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button that we each can only use one time when we want the other person to shut up. Yeah, we'll see if Lisa actually drops it this time. Remember, we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So Kid too, shall we? Let's kick off our top stories with a look at esports contracts. Across every esport, players must sign contracts in order to play and be paid by the teams they compete for. But usually, those contracts last for either a year or two at the most, which is why Fury at Esports CSGO turned heads when it announced that its players have to sign five year contracts. That means the players will be contracted to the organization until 2024. Wow. Lisa, what do you think of his contract length? I just don't understand. Like, do you think the terms of these contracts are a good idea? I mean, I think the fact before when esports contracts were short, it represented the scene, right? It was yeah. very early. We didn't know what next year was going to look like. But now the fact that contracts are longer, it shows how stable this scene is finally getting, which is a good thing. Uh, although it's rare, we have seen players in League of Legends like Bjergsen, I think, signed a five year contract as well. And Faker, Worth we've seen, it. stayed with SKT for yes. over five years. So, like, you know, for the big players, this is like, we've seen it happen but it's not common. But this is great. This is a sign that esports is moving to more stable scene and people are willing to sign five-year contracts, you know? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm only down for it if this is what the players want. If this is giving them longevity and giving them power and giving yeah. them, I don't know, confidence that their org actually has confidence in them, that's very exciting. Of yeah. course, I want that to be a thing, 100. But if this is a thing, if this is a thing where the, in the contract there's a clause that like, well, they can actually drop you at any point in time. We're going to uh. sign you for five years, but the org actually holds all the power so the player can actually search outside of that until they drop them. I don't really like that so much. That's fair. That's fair. I think it kind of works both ways. You know, yeah. players have an option. They're signed for five years, but you know, if they have a better offer mm. or if maybe their performance isn't as good, you know, yeah. both sides need to have the way to be like, listen, this isn't working out for us three mm. years in. We mm. let's find a new way to go. Like that's just the way it should be. Yeah, for sure. There should always be some kind of renegotiation yeah. clause put in there because sure. listen, five years is actually a long time. You know, Very they always, used to ask us that in like on career day or whatever it was. Yeah. Like, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to say, especially in esports. We don't know. And when people ask me that now, even to this day, in esports, honestly, I just don't know. I would love to say I do, but I don't. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm eating for lunch in like well, an hour. That's what I'm saying. But dinner, even in the past you know? three years of me covering esports, my whole career here has changed so much, yes. right? And for you as well, you've been covering for the past five years, I think, too, yeah, almost right? Five, yeah. Yeah. It's, wow. Exactly. And it's changed <laughs> drastically from year to year, even from month to month. So, True. I mean, who knows what this means for these players? I hope because the go is such an incredibly long-standing esports. It's been yeah. good for a while. This makes sense there, but for other esports, I just don't see this being the yes. case for a long time. We don't even know if we're going to be alive tomorrow. Oh so my you God, know Lisa! What? You've got to live each day like it's your last. <laughs> it's so true, it's let's true. move on to the next story. The Fortnite World Cup is just over a month away, but players will be able to pass the time with the brand new tournament. Epic Games has announced the first official trios event, which will be held from July 13th to the 14th. Details on the tournament haven't been revealed since all of Epic is on vacation for the next two weeks, but it will mark the third competitive format for the popular Battle Royale after solo and duos. Hey. So, Marissa, uh, mm. do you think having three formats now is good for Fortnite esports? This is really interesting, because now it makes me think, hmm, they have a partnership with Psyonix, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now they're doing trios, and Psyonix is obviously, and, and, and Rocket League is obviously a game that's played in threes. So, I'm just wondering how this will tie into maybe they're going to unleash a little Rocket League inside Fortnite because they can now with that partnership. What? I mean, why not? A little battle of trios, but in rocket cars? Just just a little food for thought, okay? Uh, why not? So they that's see, the dumbest they thing you've the ever said, is and you said a lot. What are you saying? No, think <laughs> about this. Because, because Epic <laughs> still is making its way into the esports yes. scene, right? Nate is now new okay, with Epic, okay. and he's uh -huh. trying to build their esports scene. Now is the time to test everything, because again, Epic has FU money, mm -hmm. so they, they can actually experiment with everything okay. just to make something work. But how, so, would this sorry, actually, trios? how would the game work with th th trios, well, Rocket League, first, and Fortnite together? Well, Battle Royale first, cars? Yeah, let's first see. They're definitely going to do this. Let's first see how the trios works, and I'm yeah. sure it'll be amazing. Let's see how that works, and let's see if there can actually be teams of three in supersonic acrobatic rocket power battle cars. Uh, I, I think it's been done before. <laughs> well, yeah, there's, there's a game called Not My Car that's yeah. actually supposed to be coming out as well. But now that they, ha they have this partnership with Psyonix, why not take that power? Because they can, they have it, and they've I got think money this, again. this has nothing to do with Psyonix. You're making, you're forcing something to happen that isn't the point. They're set I think literally, no. Five no. years from now, you had your bet. Guess what? You had your bet. Five years from now, 
happen. You're not, listen, yeah. this is probably just they want to increase the players that they want in the tournament so that more people will play. Just like how, you Whatever. know, League requires five people. So, like, you know, you grab your friends so more people are just playing. They're just trying to increase the amount so that more people will be no, forced to play. Wait, isn't there a cap five, on the amount of people five. inside the Battle Royale game? Isn't there a cap inside there? It still is the same wait, amount no, of people playing. For the playing. trio format, three. Three. they're going to put teams against each other. It's not about yeah, limited people. Yeah, but you people. still only have a limit of people allowed in the actual game. Wait, so, like, so you're before still it was 100, but now it's trio. That's going to be 99 people? No. How's yeah. it work? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's going to be three, <laughs> three. It's gonna be three teams of three, but still the amount of player that can fit on into the game, that's all they can That's all they can play. You're trying to save yourself. No, I'm not. You're, trying to, you're trying to add more people in the game. They can't add more people. Yeah. Why not? This is oh literally a chance to That's not the meta. Oh my god, <laughs> whatever. Blizzard is finally adding a feature into Overwatch that should have been that should have been there since the game launched. Subtitles. A new update to the PTR allows players to add subtitles for in-game dialogue, including interactions between characters, ultimates, and voice lines. It still has some bugs to work out, but its inclusion has been well received so far. Lisa, uh, first of all, it took years to make. But okay. should Blizzard be doing more of this? I just was watching AJ and Ron stream yeah. yesterday, and AJ has the subtitles on when he streams, which I think is fantastic. Great, more things for me to be distracted. Oh, geez. <laughs> while on the screen. The game is complicated enough. Now I have to read a book while I'm friggin' playing. Oh, Lisa, you're so selfish. This is not for <laughs> us. This is for people who have to read subtitles. This is for people who are hard to read. reading? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Now she's quiet. You're right. Because this is great. This like, is me, some people obviously need subtitles for that reason, right? So right, right. I think it's great. Yes, there are some bugs we worked out because even as I was watching AJ play, it's very delayed, right? Yeah. So like, it takes a while to come through. But the fact that it does and it's given more people and it's a way to include more people into this whole world, mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. You know, Why you, not? You know, I was just kidding before, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. Guys. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> hard, hard feels bad, man. Let's just spam feels yeah, bad, man. No, I, I was chat. joking, but no, I agree 100 percent that this is a great idea. I mean, even people who don't have, you know, those issues with accessibility, like even like a newcomer to the game who don't really know the sounds of each, you know, ultimate yeah. or any of that, just having the subtitles there will probably lower that barrier of entry for just new players. So for this sure. is fantastic for yeah. both, like all, everyone. It's not yeah. just about the, exactly. you know, people who needed But this is before. like something that I'm happy Blizzard is doing, but obviously, I don't know. It's like one of those things where it's happening now. Why wasn't happening before? Oh my god! It's so crazy to think because like that's a it horrible be mentality a thing. to have. It should have been a thing yes, from the beginning. We can't go back in time in our little box and change the past. The I point know. is that it's here now, and it's a good thing. It's a okay. step in the right direction. Right? Uh, that that's fair. Yeah. I'm going to uh, now take this and run with it. And I feel like even for us in our Instagrams, like there's actually an op. <laughs> there should be an option. What? They have it in the states, yeah. but it's not available in Canada yet. What is it? That where we can actually, because you know how we're, people are talking a lot in their like selfie videos. Sometimes we're telling a story about our day or whatever it is, and like you don't have subtitles oh there. And a lot of people listen or, or just watch the stories with the sound on. Yes, it's very helpful to have subtitles there. So subtitles just with everything is very helpful. I'm happy that Blizzard is implementing this now, and it just needs to be a trickle down effect into everything we do, especially on screens, so everyone can be included. I feel so sorry for that one person who's hired to do subtitles for Snap stories, and oh, its well, stories rip it's, you. It's That's gonna be like some. Kind of algorithm put into place. Like, I hate this to today. I, that's what we all talk about in our show. Let's be real. <laughs> well, all right, for our last story, Microsoft is cutting several jobs at Mixer and inside Xbox. The reason? It appears that Microsoft is shifting its resources away from internal content creation. Microsoft isn't cutting it away entirely, but it could mean that it is more likely to tap into content creators and streamers who work with the company and Mixer. For reference, Microsoft reported a 5% increase in gaming revenue last year. Mm. So Marissa, do you think that moving away from internal content creation is a good move? I mean, you're um, close to Xbox, right? Yeah, the yeah. thing is, like, they have an incredible team. It's huge. They, they've they poured a lot of money into, I don't know if you've seen the Mixer Studios. They just updated them, too. They're incredible, like, yeah. beautifully done. Even just at E3, like, their crews, they had, like, five different mobile teams just dispersed all throughout E3 wow. with, like, and they were with the capability of going live with each team. That's I amazing. mean, incredible. And in there, they did employ people that were already creators on on Mixer, they, they weren't Xbox employees or Microsoft employees, yeah. they were actually creators. So clearly they see the talent there and they're able to actually utilize that talent. I think it's amazing. It gives other people the opportunity to shine if they couldn't ever get in with a big company like Microsoft mm -hmm. in the first place. So it gives their creators more incentive to create more. That's exactly And it. then they actually reap the rewards of their content as well and don't have to pay them a salary. Oh, okay. So, That's a little spice. A little it, spice it, there. Win-win for everyone. It's business. I guess. It's business. It's all about the money. Uh, yeah. Okay, but you know, obviously, Mixer is having a hard time with competition Why? with 
Twitch, obviously Twitch has a they huge monopoly. They just launched like three years ago. What? So, oh, okay, so you think it's going good for Mixer? It's going amazing for Mixer. They have so many users. They make a lot of money already. Really? Yes, oh my God. I feel like it's going great for Mixer. I, far better than I ever thought it would. Oh. Like they're, they've been surprising me year after year with how much bigger and scale yeah. they're getting as well and how many streamers, how many people love playing on Mixer. Uh -huh. They love the community. They love how inclusive it is. Okay, so uh, who's your favorite streamer on Mixer? Oh, I don't actually watch. Okay. Right. I don't I don't I don't actually watch Mixer. Uh, oh I to be fair, I don't to be fair. To I don't fair. really like watch a lot of streamers on Twitch either except for like Brody and AJ and Ron. Like I know I follow watch people that I know. Like I don't excuse. I don't stream, I don't look for streamers. I'm sorry, like I'm guilty. Oh and JJ Pokecatcher, I'm sorry, Seb. Oh my god, JJ <laughs> Pokecatcher for sure. Garman's son. <laughs> yeah. Can't forget him, guys. Go support. But you don't you don't really watch streamers. Uh no, that's not anymore. Saying. You know what it is though, but the, I feel like we're kind of an outlier. Working yeah. in the business, like I watch a lot of broadcasts, like yeah. you know, Riot Games, all the other esports. Like we watch those. It's hard to find time to watch individual streamers. Yeah. But every once in a while, you know, I check out a Pokemon clip, Pokemane for those yeah, who are ignorant. Exactly. Okay. We, yeah, like, exactly. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Listen, okay, listen to, to her. When we do it for work, we do it for work. But outside yeah. of that, we're we're guilty. Yeah. So us in chat for Lisa and I. Okay. Sorry, it's time to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Hellbringer one three two two five and his wife, who seemed to have found. Get off your damn computer! Now! What? Get off your damn computer! What? Get off your damn computer! No, I don't! I don't! An ally has been slain. What? I don't! Yeah? What's this? Your turret has been yeah. destroyed. That's your computer, Steven! Your inhibitor Daniel has Red? been destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's down for a chat. Hookups are okay, but not required. Excuse me? Excuse me? I don't have a Tinder. Then what the fuck is that? I don't have a Tinder. Then what is it? I don't know. How the fuck is this lady with a strip right from my eyes? That's a photo from a fucking album, Steven. You know what's best, though? If you listen to the in-game commentary at the same time, it literally is like, your ally has died. Your turret has been destroyed. Like, it's literally reflecting what is happening to his marriage at the same time. Uh, but yeah, that's bad. Oh my god, I have actual anxiety listening to stuff like that. I do like when couples fight in public. Okay. Like, it's entertaining, of course, but not when it's that level of seriousness. Like, that's a serious fight. There's two sides to this, obviously, because some people are catfishers, yes. right? So they do use our photos to catfish on Tinder. That has yeah. happened. Yeah. It's happened to Lisa and I as well. So, um, so I don't know, maybe it's not really his Tinder profile. Maybe they resolve that fight. I would like to have an update from this couple, if possible. You know, just send us a DM. We're happy to help. Also, marriage counseling. Lisa and I are really good at that, too. Ah! But well, I'm really good at it. And uh, <laughs> what, I'm okay at it. You're right. So, uh, no, that's just so upsetting to have that happen. And then the fact that it was live on stream, oh my gosh, like my heart, my stomach, like yeah. it hurts yeah. for this guy, especially if it's not true. But if it is true, yo, you a dog. Yo, you in trouble. And you don't deserve this woman. Honestly, you don't deserve people watching you anymore either. Let's ban him. The worst part is I feel bad for him because he's losing his game. He's probably going to get reported for Are three you serious? things. He's probably not going to. He's going to be banned for a couple days. And now he's going to be alone. He's going to be alone, divorced, and not have league to play. It's a really tough time for him. Though they should really call the wife Hellbringer instead of oh. him. <laughs> All right, let's it's move on. on. Next up, we have a clip from KBVE, essentially a liquor store that is streaming its surveillance cameras live. What a brilliant idea. But there's a twist. If you subscribe, you can control a text-to-speech robot. Results vary. Do not try this at home. Your shoes are trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are red blood blood. Oh, oh my God. Your shoes are red and from the Salvation Army. Oh, that robot is savage AF. Uh, that was actually the tamest clip that we could find because everything else was pretty like R-rated. Yo, these are jaw-dropping clips today. Right? In Clip It, my goodness, the scandalo, I swear. Um, How would you feel that, if a robot uh, there must be you? There must be a sign outside. Like, obviously, there's always a sign about video surveillance in any yeah. building that you go into that has it, but I wonder if they have a sign outside saying, uh, hey, our cameras will troll you, or hey, you're on a live stream if We're you enter this building. a public place, though. If it's a public spot, they have every right to do it. Right. I'm just saying there, there should be a warning of some kind before you I mean, walk in saying, like, you will get savagely torched yeah. by our camera robot. 
It's true. I don't know what the legalities of it, but I think it's a hilarious idea. Oh, it's great. No, give us more of that. I mean, I've, see, that's the stream that I would right? to. Right? That's all brilliant. Right. It truly really is the best time of day when we scroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros bless us with from their timeline. It's the best when they ask the really important questions for random internet people to answer. Rocket League Pro CJ tweets, what's a bladder infection and how do I get one? Oh, no. <laughs> like, well, Cameron, let me tell you. Uh, don't uh, tell him. <laughs> yeah, well, no, the graphic uh, details, please. I guess the best way to obtain a bladder infection there is would, no be best to, way, would be to hold your urine for an alarming amount of time, oh. so much so that your kidneys uh, and bladder, they just start failing on Marissa, you. I thought you were going like to say it's sex. A, it's a problem. No, no, no. That would be the best way. Okay, well, for women, that's why you should Men urinate. Men too. No, no, but for women, if you want to prevent a bladder infection, you're actually supposed to urinate direct, like right after you've done the deed. That's actually true. You, can, true. you can Google that. You know, she does marriage marriage advice and health advice, guys, yeah. all in one. All the bladder Who infections, And you should have cranberry juice if you have a bladder infection. It really does help. You should really get some of that in you. Okay? I don't know if CJCG actually wanted one or if he had one and he just wanted advice on how to get rid of it, but, um, you know, I CJ, hope that helps. No, CJ, I think you need to delete that tweet and pretend it never happened because yeah, that's okay. just WTF. All right, moving on. <laughs> Our next profound thought is basically me every morning when I see myself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> All right, amateur Fortnite player FR Josh tweets. He says, who's the master of Fortnite? I am. What? I am. Who is the master okay, of Fortnite? Okay. I am. I don't think this is good. I no, I got to ask no, you. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, what are you saying instead of Fortnite? Because we all know you don't play Fortnite. Um, what are you the master of? Who's the master of these, I'm not going to say it, these bees at squad? No. Listen, okay, it's scripted that I say this in the morning, but it's not true. I don't do that. Chris is more likely to friggin' say that in the mirror. No, but I did love that words of affirmation girl where she's oh, yeah. like, she's in the mirror and she's so excited about her day and she's the do best. You do, that? do you do that? Do I do? But I feel like we all should. I think we, it might help us just be more positive people okay. in the day. What would like, be your who affirmation? Knows? Um, what would you say every day to yourself? Uh, I, okay, so I saw this TED Talk once where okay. it's like first you have to, because you know public speaking is actually quite difficult to yes. do. So you're actually supposed to put your hands all the way up in the air to like, just to give yourself power. So put your hands all the way up in the air. I'm, I'm going to be sweaty, but oh God, put don't. hands all the way up place. in the air because it gives you um, power, right? And then that's all. you don't have to say anything at this point in time, but you also can like close your eyes uh -huh. and just spell just the it? word victory, like in the sky. Like you can look up at the sky or you can close your eyes and like visualize the word victory. Was your TED Talk held in the alleyway of like the city? Like where, who are you getting well, taking advice from? We don't need to talk about that. All right, now it's time for a little advice from pro Halo player Snipe Down. He says... I go out with my wife and she gets gassed up by so many random women, it's insane. When are men going to be confident enough to tell each other how fly we are looking? Because I swear, I'll be dishing out compliments to all my guy friends who have style no problem at all. Seriously, yes. Why can't this actually be a thing? You know what's nice, though? I think in our producer room, we actually see this a lot between our between our boys. Zurich and Matt are always like, yeah. man, you're looking great today. Man, did you just get a haircut? Yeah. It looks nice. Like, we do see that a little bit, but I guess, you know. <laughs> are they, Tyler. It, well, did you, get, did you get that from Tyler? No, I didn't get that Tyler from Tyler. Tyler says, everyone says I look great all the time. Yeah, see, he's more likely to, in the mirror, be like, I'm the master of yeah, yeah. monster <laughs> hunter. The master of these boots. I yeah. look so lumbersexual today. <laughs> I that's didn't know hard. that was a real word until you told me that. Yeah, yeah, Lumber sexual a, is a real thing. That's a real thing. But I do want, yeah. if we can, please, we implore men to really compliment each other every day. If you see someone that's got great style, like, why not? If they misconstrue it and think you're hitting on them, whatever. That's their problem, honestly. Like, just, I love it when a woman compliments me. And it's true, uh, it's true that women, actually, when we're walking down the street, we don't check out other guys. We check out other women. It's just a thing that happens. We check them out for their style. Sometimes women are being girls and they're being haters and they're just giving you the up and down. That happens, too, unfortunately. But for the most part, exactly. It's for really the most part, just com compliment. It goes a long way, just being kind to people. Sure, the other day I gave a girl at the grocery store, I like her eyeliner. She's like, thank you. I'm like, you're welcome. See, that's, that's a good, good compliment otherwise. That's a good one. She had really cute eyeliner. All right. I like the eyeliner compliment. Right? Like, it's time to do. She put effort into it. Yeah. All right, uh, let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making. So I know Pokemon fans are super excited about the upcoming Shield and Sword release, but indie developer Kamato Taito created a web game that really sends a strong message. All right, let's do this. So, Pokemon Cutting Corners version. Gotta catch a few here and there. An exclusive behind the scenes look at how Sword and Shield's national, national decks came to be. Tap anywhere or use the arrow keys to get as much Pokemon into Sword and Shield as you can. Okay. All right. And then, oh, we ran out of time and resources to implement the other Pokemon. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so that uh, was some major shade. So this okay. is in response to the news that um, the new games won't include the national Pokedex, yeah. only Pokemon from the Galo region, and people are salty. Yeah, and that that's what happened. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. that's interesting. Also, like yeah, salty. I get it because these people are, that are continuously playing, yeah, uh, they pour a lot of time and energy into this. So um, they expect this from the developers as well to give them that yeah. time and energy or reward them for that time and energy that they're putting in. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't affect me because I haven't been putting that <gasps> time and energy a in. Pokemon so trainer? I am, but not to that extent. I'm not. I'm not a daily. Pokemon. You know that I'm not Lisa. I play and I respect Pokemon, okay? I, I respect I Pokemon. Know. I don't know about that. Which one's, what's your, what's your favorite Pokemon? I'm gonna judge you right now. Uh, well, I always go fire type. Okay. Like every single time, that's always my go-to. So you know um, Charmander? Mm -hmm. That's like my go, if, if Charmander's around, Charmander's my boy. Right, name two more fire types, go. Um, well, I can't think of them. I knew it! Fake Pokemon trainer! No, because I always rename them. Oh, like she's lying. Different. She Char lied. Charizard? I caught her. Where's Charmander evolve into Charizard? You guys, F in chat. Let's ban her. I That's, haven't played in a long time. I'm so disappointed. Guys, in don't you. hate. I'm old. I forget things. Okay. In our next post, ch really, <laughs> check Nuvov <laughs> underscore V decided to take a need for speed into the real world. <laughs> All right. Let's see this. Kay. So, have you played Need for Speed? Yes, I have. Um, tell me how realistic this is then. Okay. So this is the car selection process. Yeah. Yo, they edited this and I was very impressed. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. <gasps> That's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Oh, Yo, is this car real life? Porn. Yeah, this is real life. It looks like the it looks like a game. Yo, this looks wow. He even put like the edited check wow. checkpoints into it. Look, his Dang. friends rolling up in their car, their How souped much up cars. Time did this, take? this is incredible. It's so well done. And then of course they got a race. Let's go. Hopefully no one was hurt. <laughs> they closed down this wow. street for this, but this is amazing. Luckily no cars are crashing into each other. Somebody's look at that. Somebody's obsessed with Fast and Furious. Somebody's obsessed. Who isn't? That's real. Oh my god. Right. Look at that. It looks so good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. When you can't even tell if it's like the reality or a game, that's when you know you made it. Well, good for you. I love that. Um, there I you go. He obviously just wanted to show off his cars. <laughs> well, it worked. Like, uh, it yeah. looks good. No, it's buddies. I, I applaud you, sir. Yeah, are you a car? Are you Do you like cars? I, I'm not like a car, like, I don't know. I will appreciate a good looking car for sure, and I'll compliment it if it's an amazing color or you a Compliment looks fly. the car. I will compliment the car, yeah. I'm not the <laughs> owner. Like, the owner didn't do anything, he just bought it. Um, no, but I, I like, I like a good car, sure, but I'm not gonna like obsess with them. I don't buy no. car magazines or anything like that. Oh. It's not, okay. it's not my jam. Well, that's why you do? Car. No, 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 no. Oh. I drive a Honda Civic. What do you want from me? <laughs> Speaking of speed, in honor of Banjo Kazooie's addition to Smash Bros. Ultimate, Milk Steak decided to fuse together the Banjo Gang and the Speedy Verse by Busta Rhymes. When it come to doing this, and I be banging on my chest, and I'm banging the east, and I'm banging in the west, and I kind of give you more, and I will never give you less. You were hearing in the street, and you can read it in the press. Do you really want to know what's next? Let's go. See the way we on it, and we all up in the race. And you know we got to go, and I try to keep up with the pace. And we're struggling, and hustling, and set it, and I get it, and we always got to do it. Take it to another place, got to taste it. And I got to grab it, and I got to cut all through this traffic. Just to beat at the top of the throne, but I know I got to have it. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. Paper. Whoa! Get me Yo, that was awesome. That was fine. We actually have to show the back half because there was too many swear words in the top half oh. there. But if you guys want to see the full video, it is on YouTube. But yeah. we what? know we know how much we love rapping here. <laughs> so Marissa, she's yeah. actually really good at rapping. No, that's Put not you true. on the spot. Let's go. Okay, she might have been spirit. practicing all night. My... No, I can't because I had to read the words. Okay, okay ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ready? Yeah, we tried a beat though. Wait, you got no. Okay, it's was fine. that my kid? We'll put it in I, post. We'll put it in post. Ready? Okay, I gotta think about it. All right. Cause I'm feeling like I'm running. I feel like I gotta get away, get away, get away. But I know that I don't, and I won't ever stop. Cause you know I gotta win every day, day. See, they really, really, really wanna pop me. Just know that you will never flop me. And I know that can be a little cocky. <laughs> you ain't never gonna stop me. <laughs> I, have, I can't do the rest because then he starts saying things that I can't say. Yeah. So yeah. that was pretty impressive. There Thanks. You go. What do you got? Uh, you just put me on the spot for that. I thought you were gonna do it. No, I can't do it. Oh, you. <laughs> I didn't practice. Girl, I just, I just made her do it. I don't trust you anywhere when you slap me late at night about learning rap songs. Anyway, that's it for Unmuted. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. So I'm going to type in exclamation mark socials right now so you can see them. And we'll see you next time.